Hi everyone good to see you again all I hope you all will be fine. The head of the Federation of Iraqi Chambers of Commerce, Abdul Razak al-Zahari, revealed on Monday that Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates have jointly allocated $6 billion to bolster their operations in Iraq. In a statement, al-Zahari emphasized the importance of Iraq aligning its trade processes globally while adhering to the standards set by the World Bank. He called for full automation in goods entry and exit procedures to streamline operations efficiently. The announcement followed the successful establishment of business councils through agreements with Abu Dhabi and Riyadh. The allocated funds, with the UAE contributing $3 billion and Saudi Arabia matching the amount will be utilized to support operational and investment endeavors within Iraq. The first step commenced with registering data for merchants and companies, thanks to the generous support from the Council of Ministers and the United Nations. We have now entered a stage of SWIFT, enabling seamless money transfers in the world of trade between importers and exporters, paving the way for Iraq's advancement as a developed nation, stated al-Zahari. Al-Zahari emphasized that the focus extends beyond trade, establishing investment projects, and fostering mutual economic growth. The willingness of both countries to collaborate and invest inside Iraq is evident, making it a positive stage for the region, al-Zahari added. It is worth noting that Iraq's strategic location as a prominent transit region makes it a key player in global trade, significantly reducing transit time between Asia and Europe to about nine days through ongoing development projects. And Mohammad Shia al-Sudani, the Iraqi Prime Minister, has launched an appeal to the Supreme Federal Court against a number of provisions in the general budget law, a governmental source confirmed to Shafak News Agency on Monday. Al-Sudani has implored the court to issue a mandate order to halt the implementation of certain articles within the law, following its enforcement, pending the court's decision on the constitutional legitimacy of these clauses. Yes dear all this is very good news for Iraq. Thanks take care.